All right, so today's question is, what do I ask when I don't know a word in English? Now, I know this may seem like a basic question to many of you, maybe most of you, but since you will be asking this question probably for the rest of your life, I wanna make sure we get this right. For example, if you're watching one of my videos, which you are right now, by the way, thanks for the support. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. Okay, now, enough of that. For example, come on. For example, if you're watching one of my videos, like you are right now, you'll probably hear or see a word that you don't understand. And the correct way to ask would be to say, what does this word mean? What does this mean? Or you can say, can you tell me what this word means? Can you tell me what this means? Sounds simple enough, but I have heard some incorrect phrasing or incorrect grammar such as, may I know this? Or what means this? Which is incorrect. And I wanna make sure you guys are able to get this right because you're probably going to be asking this question for the rest of your life. All right, for this example, I'm gonna use the slang word dope. And if you don't know what the word dope means, then you should be asking me, what does dope mean? Exactly. All right, you guys got it. All right, so maybe you're on Facebook or WeChat or Line or something, and you see somebody post a comment that says, that was dope. Then you can stop and ask your friend, what does dope mean? What does dope mean? Or another way to ask could be, can you tell me what dope means? Can you tell me what dope means? Or even another way would be to say, can I ask you something? What does dope mean? Can I ask you something? What does dope mean? And then your friend will respond and say, oh, dope means cool or awesome. I get it now. Another situation you may run into, uh, maybe you're chatting with your friend and you're having a conversation and they're talking and talking and then you hear a word you don't understand. What can you say? Maybe you say, oh, I've been learning English for a year now. And your friend says, oh, that's dope. What are you supposed to say? You can stop them and say, oh, wait, what does that mean again? Can you explain that to me? Wait, I didn't quite get that. What does dope mean again? Hey, how's it going? Oh, great, never better. How have you been? Not bad, I've been learning English for the last year now. Oh, that's dope. Okay, you may have also noticed that I said wait before some of those phrases. Saying wait before asking a question is a native speaker habit. Now, I'm not telling you to start using this habit, but if you do see people say wait, what does that mean? Or wait, what are we doing? Or wait, what's going on? It's just the habit that native speakers have. Okay, now that you're comfortable with asking what something means, either online or when you're having a conversation, this is how you can respond after hearing the definition. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, okay, good to know. Sorry, what does dope mean? Oh, dope means cool or awesome. Oh, okay, good to know. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, sorry, what does dope mean again? Oh, dope means cool or awesome. Oh, okay, got it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense is similar to got it or good to know, but is a phrase you can use if somebody is explaining a simple word or an entire process. If you ask, how do cars work? And they explain the whole thing. Then you can say, oh, that makes sense. Hey, I didn't quite get that. What does dope mean again? Oh, it means cool or awesome. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Nice. Okay. So now you know how to ask a question online, in person, and how to respond after they tell you the definition. All right. So here we go with the quiz. Whoa, and before you leave, one last tip. 
before you go. If you're talking to native speakers, they may not know that you're still learning English. So just tell them, hey, I'm still learning. Um, I started learning English a year ago or a month ago. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, yep. That's all for today. If you have time, please go ahead and check out one of my other videos to help you speak English like a native speaker. See you later.